Hello, Outward is a scary place, so I'm here with some beginner tips to help you on your way. So tip one, as with most survival games, grab everything that isn't nailed down and then sell it. Then grab yourself a weapon and some armor, go to the quest givers and start earning that money. In town there's a few places to get quests by chatting to the NPCs. The main one you want to speak to is here on the map. The reason being, and I'm not going to ruin for you this early on, is that she's going to give you a quest that's going to give you quite a lot of silver. What have you got? Now before you head out on your quest, don't forget to pick up this passive skill from the Kassite Spellblade, and that is Perfect. fitness. This will increase your health, which is very useful at the start of the game. You'll then want to head to the blacksmith and buy an iron weapon of your choice, and then finally leave town. But don't leave the gate before speaking to the person on the right who will give you a free skill. So now you've done town and managed a few missions, that brings us on to survival. So you've probably already bought a weapon you can use to whack things with. But as you may have noticed, enemies are quite difficult to defeat in this early stage. To get around this, you're going to want to get yourself a bow and some traps. Both of these items and their recipes can be bought from the blacksmith in town. And the crafting materials are really easy to come by. And early on, these are essential, I'd say. And they're really going to help you up your game and progress. Just be aware though, whatever you set the trap with is how much damage it will do. So if you use the metal spikes, they do a lot more damage than they will with the wooden ones, as you see here. Now you have this knowledge to help you with this next part, you really need to go out and kill some hyenas. A hyena den, ideally, obviously, is the best place to find them. But if you look around, they shouldn't be too hard to come by. Finally, that brings us on to crafting. I'm going to show you now, at the start, how to craft fang weapons. Um, if you have a two-handed weapon, you need two fangs from the hyenas. Depending on which weapon you've chosen, if it's a one-handed weapon, you will need one predator bone. If it's a two-handed weapon, you'll need two predator bones. But for the rest, it's all the same. There we have it. If you followed all my tips, you should have somewhere to rest your head now. Um, a great weapon and some silver in your pocket. Before you head out though, just one last thing that will really change your game, and those are rags. If you haven't made a rag yet, um, I'll be surprised, but if you want to know how to make them, I'm just going to leave that here at the end in my outro. Good luck, onward and out.